So hi everybody and welcome to my favourite five. My name is David Stanbury, I'm a wedding and portrait photographer based here in the northwest of the UK. This video is where I select five images from a wedding and go through not only how they were taken, but more importantly, why they were taken. I do hope you enjoy this episode of My Favourite Five. So again everybody, welcome to my favourite five and today you find me at one of my favourite wedding venues, Eves Hall in the beautiful Lancashire countryside here in the UK and it's Steve and Leanne's wedding day and I'm going to go through the photographs of the how and the why, I'm going to give a little bit of the technical information, it's going to come on the actual image so you get to see the camera settings. Uh, but let's start at the beginning of the wedding day, which is all about Leanne getting ready and those all important detail photographs that we as wedding photographers, we really need to capture. But for me, I wanted to get it in a little bit more of a documentary storytelling day for the wedding album. It's so easy on a wedding day to just concentrate on close-up details of, of, of wedding rings, of, uh, of earrings and things like that. But I like to get a little bit more of a storytelling documentary approach to this, but also tell the story by including as many elements as I can to this image. Uh, so the idea was that Leanne was, was putting the earring in uh, and I was just taking the photograph of the reflection through the mirror in the bridal suite of her putting the, putting the earring in. She's turning towards the light, so that, that beautiful light is hitting her stunning profile, and that's leading the eye into the brightest part of the subject, which again is the earring, and it's just helping tell that storytelling element, them detail shots, hey, this is a stunning earring, uh, and we really needed to capture that, uh, that image uh, you know, for the wedding album and for, for the story of the wedding day. The next image is totally different to that one. This is trying to create something that's more moody, something a little bit more edgy. And for this one, we opted uh, to do the photograph in the, uh, of the groom in the snooker room at the wedding venue. So we got Steve and his uh, groomsmen, which just happened to be his, his two brothers, uh, into the snooker room. And we opted for a little bit more of an edgy shot, a little bit more of a, uh, a macho sort of feel to this image. And for that, we used off-camera flash. So there's a couple of elements to this image that can help create a moody story to this. Uh, there's the pose of the guys, but also the lighting that we, we've opted for here. The, the pose of Steve the groom, he's got his hands either side, so it's almost a triangular sort of shape. This is leading the eye uh, into the groom, quite a masculine style pose. But really, I like to tell the story with the lighting. I like to get the, the narrative uh, brought in with the lighting. And for this, we needed a really edgy, moody, harsh lighting. Uh, flash gun plays to the right of the camera with a mag mod grid, uh, again to help st solve any, uh, any spill of light. We were really going to control the direction where that light was going. But nothing else on this. I really wanted a harsh light. Two reasons. First of all, obviously we wanted the harsh light to show this, this moody, edgy feel but also the light then would bring down that ambient light behind the guys uh, and really bring the eye towards these three guys, which is where we wanted the viewer, you guys, to actually go to. The, the reflection, which just adds an extra element, is a glass tabletop that I took off the table and put onto the, uh, onto the snooker table, uh, and this helps bring, obviously, the reflection. And another element to, uh, to this image, again, all done in camera. But one of my favourite things of this is the, is the snooker table light. Um, at the top of the image. I feel that they lead the, the viewer's eye towards the, uh, towards the subject and really help give a third element to, uh, to this, this particular image. So the next image is totally different to this one. It's all about the bride. It's all about that stunning dress and those amazing curves that Leanna's got. And I really wanted to capture all this in one, in one beautiful pose, one beautiful moment. So just at the front door of the venue, I like, to, I like to have my brides actually turning away from the light and then turning the face back into the light. I just feel that that really shows shape uh, and it really gets that beautiful light coming across the bride's face. But we had to add a few extra elements, as always, to, the, to one of our images. Um, the, the bride's holding a bouquet in her left hand. The reason for that is because then that helps by bringing the, the, the bouquet 
not quite too far in front, so it helps with the shallow depth of field. The focal plane is all the same of the, of the dress, the bride's face and the flowers. It's all on the same focal plane. We've got that beautiful curve, that lovely expression. We just need a little bit of separation from, from the bride and the background. And that's done, again, using light. Um, flash gun to the camera right. Again, on this flash gun, my good old uh, you know, faithful MagMod uh, grid, which helps control the light. But this time, a half CTO gel. Why a warm gel? Well, we just wanted to get that warm glow, almost like it was the light coming from the, the wedding venue that was hitting uh, Leanne's hair, which helped with that separation. Again, I've said on many times, it's all about trying to make that light believable, trying to get some realism into, into our images. Um, and again, it just really helps with separating Leanne from that, that background and just helps give a warmth to a beautiful hair, which she'd spent quite a while having them on them stunning curls put into that hair. So we really needed to show that off. The next image, well, we've gone back inside the venue. Um, we're, we're trying to tell that story, of trying to get the bride and groom back into the wedding uh, venue itself. So this is all about getting the little detail shots that they've included into the venue and which was all about the candles on a table. Um, so as wedding photographers, we always seem to be either trying to get the eye to go somewhere or trying to lose something that's, that's quite distracting in the background. We've got to work with the elements that we have. And, and in this image, it's no different. Um, I decided to go for quite a low camera angle uh, and a shallow depth of field. Again, the shallow depth of field is to bring the subject a lot sharper, but also help with that stunning bokeh that you see at the front of the image. But the low angle also helps lose any, any guests in the background, any distractions that we've got in the background. Um, and to get the eye to go to the brightest subject, again, at the moment, the, the candles would be the, the brightest subject. So to the camera right, again, flash gun, <laughs> good old faithful uh, MagMod gel. Uh, grid, sorry, with a half CTO gel. Again, I've said many times, the grid is to control the light and the, uh, the colored gel is to help match the ambient warmth of the candles with the actual light that we, we, are, we are using to light the bride and groom. It's all about making this image as realistic as possible. But that light that's hitting the, hitting the bride and groom is helping bring the ambient light down. It's helping bring the, the candles down a little bit so they're not as imposing as what, as what they could be, but also leading the bride and groom that we've got positioned in a, a rule of thirds part of the image. And this image is one of those images that looks great on a front cover or a double page spread in a wedding album, um, you know, or even on a wall. And talking of amazing images that you could put on the wall or a front uh, of your wedding album, that brings us to one of the last images we, we took at uh, Stee and Leanne's wedding day. And this is one of our hero signature shots that I love to get at wedding days, but it's all about the architecture of the building. I've said on many, many occasions, bride and grooms choose a venue for a reason. We need as photographers to get that venue into the photographs. And what better way than by using the amazing lighting that this venue had at night. We are really spoiled with this venue. There's loads of little squares and boxes that you, you can position the brand agreement to help, help with the composition. For us, we, we opted on a central uh, positioning uh, using the doorway frame to help frame within a frame the bride and groom uh, to help separate them. Uh, flash gun behind the bride and groom, pointing to the bride and groom with a MagMod grid on it. This time with a half CTO gel, again, it's all about trying to mimic to copy that warm light that's hitting the bride and groom from the back. But uh, we've got a ca uh, another flash gun to left of the camera, which has got uh, a MagMod grid again, just to help control that light. But this time we've put a MagMod sphere over the top to keep that light a little bit softer that's hitting the bride and groom. And the job of that flash gun really is to just give some clean light to the bride and groom to help keep that dress uh, nice and white. The pausing is really, really crucial here. We've got the bride's arm hitting uh, the groom's arm. So that's created almost a triangle with the heads and the arm. And then if you come down, you've got the triangular shape of the bride's dress with the train. And copying that with, uh, with, with Steve's foot, I've just dropped his foot back a little bit to help again with that, that framing to give that triangular sort of look. An extra element to this shot is the good old iPhone reflection. Uh, so we put the iPhone just at the front of the camera lens uh, and it creates that reflection, just, just gives an extra little bit of dimension, a little bit of an extra element to this, uh, this wonderful photograph that's one of the last photographs we take on a wedding day. A proper good old fashioned hero shot for a front cover of a wedding album. 
So I do hope you enjoyed my five favourite images from Steve and Leanne's wedding day at Eve's Hall. If you want to see more images from this wedding day, then I'm going to put the link in the description to the blog post on our website. So by all means, I would love you to go and view the full set of photographs and the story of their wedding day. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave your comments in the comment section before. Let us know what you thought. Is there anything else you'd like to see? Uh, and it does help us when we're creating uh, my favourite five videos. Again, if you've not already subscribed to this channel, then please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification so you don't miss any future episodes of My Favourite Five. But most of all, guys, thank you for watching, and I really look forward to seeing you on the next episode of My Favourite Five. Yeah.